gnome is pretty sassy. How do we get out actually? Is it here? No? Is it here? No? Oh my god, are you for real? Is it here? What the heck? How do I get out? I... I can't run from this fight? Oh wow, she just straight up summoned. Correct. I wasn't sure if she would summon on her own. But she did. Is everyone all... Yeah, everyone's fine. Just tell me how to get out of here. Like, what the heck? How do I leave? Hey! What's up, Sybil? What's up, Rastam? What's up, Gonzo? Yeah, for those of you that don't know, we've been doing a Let's Play of Tales of Symphonia for several weeks now, and the whole thing's on YouTube. We do it every Friday. Every Friday at uh, about a 1 o'clock p.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. I think I'm just gonna cook instead. Because I can't get out of here. At least I'm not sure how. Final Fantasy Friday did not turn into Tales Friday. We do both on Friday. Her, that's for sure. Yeah, I guess we'll just do that. There. Time to taste dirt. Time to taste dirt. Thank you for that, because he does a lot of damage. Why are you using eruption? Use the attack that he's freaking weak against, you stupid. So Trapton, since you know about this game actually. Do you know what Ability Plus does? Because I don't get it. It says I'm allowed to use another special ability after using the first one, but I've tried everything and I still only use three. A level one, a level two, and a level three. It doesn't like change. Oh well, no, he jumped. What a freaking waste of my life. Do you foresee yourself doing variations or challenges for other Final Fantasy games? Yeah, but I haven't played them enough to really do challenges on them yet. Like, it's been forever since I've played through 9 or 8 casually. I've done Final Fantasy X challenges before, and I might be up for doing another one sometime. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know enough about any of the other games to really do, like, a challenge without going through it a few more times. Twelve, I still need to get the platinum for a new one. Fifteen, I'd rather die. Thirteen, I don't really want to play again. It's an alright game, but it has like no replayability for me. Oh my god, 
out that ice tornado. Why don't you do that thing though that you do so well? Yes. Nemesis percent speed run. I see you now. Oh, I missed the block. Are you okay? Oh my god, he's using his ribbon as like a propeller. That was sweet. Using nurse, I hope she's using nurse. <laughs> oh my god, that attack! Booyah! I never really took full advantage of this game's battle system, it's just too convoluted. I feel the same way, to be honest. I think that's kind of why... Oh my god, I got three titles from that. I feel like that's kind of why a lot of people are constantly commenting like, Death, do this! Death, do that! Dirty, you know that? Cause I mean, like... With the four -on -one garbage mythos? Well, he did it by himself. Cause like, if you know how this game works and what everything does, then, you know... I feel like it's much easier to say stuff, but when you're playing it casually for the first time, nothing is really explained, so it's just really convoluted. You made a mistake and ended up taking a different path and inadvertently did a hard mode version of the game? Nice. I need to use Gnome's face for an emote. That'd be pretty great. That's a that's a very emotable face right there. Did I ever finish Threads of Fate? No. We played it for that uh, fan day and then you were gone, so I didn't play it again. That might be another I, like possibility for a Let's Play in the future, though. That'd be a game that everyone would like oh, to yeah, watch. Oh, yeah, well, whatever. Make your vow already. Oh, this guy is hard to deal with. I mean, he's being kind of nice. For the sake of creating a place in which the two worlds no longer must sacrifice one another, give me your power. Hmm. Well, all right. I'll go ahead and lend my power to you guys. The all-white mages challenge in Final Fantasy 1. Yeah, maybe that could be a thing. That was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. I mean, it's a ton of grinding, but it's it's cool. Now all we have to do is make a pact with Sylph, and we'll sever another one of the mana flows. Where shall we go next? I've heard that the summon spirit Celsius resides near Flanor. Okay then, let's go have a look. Ruby. What is Ruby? A gem received from the summoned spirit of Earth. A symbol of love, happiness, and courage. Wow, resource 3% of max HP at a fixed rate. That's cool. All these jewels do something, but I don't know what they do. They must be used at some point, but... Um, I got like three different things. What did I get here? Warlock? Uh, 
I got some for her, Summoner. And then Gleaming Knight. Even though he wasn't even in the fight. Gnome is so cute. Cute? Really? Just look at that ribbon on its head. The way it spins and spins and spins. We're talking about ribbons. Perseus is cute too. My ribbon does not spin. Uh, Persea? Wait. Seriously though, I don't think that thing on Gnome is a ribbon. <laughs> wow. That was pretty great. See ya, Mystery One. Good one, my dude. Genus, check your hormones. They're all out of whack. So how do I get out of here? Oh. Found it out. Wait, this is open now, what? Genus, look! Whoa, whoa, Lloyd! Stop playing with the Sorcerer's Ring. This is fun. It's great for surprising people. Don't blame me if you use it someplace weird and something falls on you. That's already happened to me. What's in here? Oh, I see. Okay. I gotcha. You should check the safe house if you're lost. Oh my god. I'll never forget that. Wonder if we'll find what we need in the safe house. That's the best meme to come out of this playthrough. Without a doubt. So I wonder if we have to find out where we're supposed to go somewhere in here. Or... Oh, this person's new, so... Are you alright? Ugh. Please, hang on. I'm sorry, it seems I've been struck by evil energy. Evil energy? Do you by any chance possess the devil's arms? Yeah, you know, just the other day, I was strolling on along, and I was like, hey, maybe just go check out Mark's. So we went to Mark's, and, uh, you know, picked up some groceries, a couple apples, Banana, uh, grab some of them devil arms, you know, like devil's arms just severed laying there on the table. I was like, yeah, I'll pick those up. Here you go. Got them. The evil eye that you possess is one of the devil's arms. Who are you? My apologies, my name is Abyssian. I am the last surviving member of a family of demon hunters. I'm Lloyd. I'm on a journey with my companions. I've got some matches. <laughs> what does a family of demon hunters do? There was once a man named Nibelim who attempted to conquer Tetheala. Nibelim was eventually defeated by a single swordsman, but his lingering hatred fused itself into the swordsman's nine pieces of arms and cursed the swordsman's descendants. Wow, that's pretty scary. The family of demon hunters are the descendants of the swordsman that, who defeated Nibelim. Every member of the family lost their lives to the curse of the devil's arms. That's terrible. Can anything be done? If all nine items are gathered and sealed, the family curse will be lifted. So that's what you asked, why you asked about the Devil's Arms. Yes, however, the curses progress more quickly than I expected. I, uh, and I, too, have been struck by Nibelim's evil energy. I think it will be difficult for me to continue gathering the, the Devil's Arms in my condition. Let's help him, Lloyd. What do you mean continue? You don't have any. Yeah, after all, we already have some Devil's Arms. Let's go find the rest ourselves. Are you sure? It is not a minor task. Door in vow number two, never abandon someone in need. Then, please take this sword and key. The Devil's Arms carry the will of Nibelum, and the pieces respond to each other. When this sword reacts, you will surely find Devil's Arms in that area. When you have collected all the arms, please return to Flaneor. Does the curse of the Devil's Arms affect anyone besides members of your family? Hmm, no it shouldn't. What is it, Persea? No, it's nothing. Okay, then we'll be back soon, Abyssian. Thank you, I am in your debt. Cool, yet another person keeping a secret from us. I love it. I love this game. So is this like some giant side quest? It sounds like it. A 
cursed weapon. Its background is a mystery. It almost looks like Soul Calibur. Yes, this is my first Tales game. I've played about an hour of Tales of Azuria, and I've played, like, a little bit of Tales of Abyss, but this is my first full playthrough of a Tales game. And we'll be playing Tales of, Tales of Graces F and Azuria as part of our trophy quest eventually. But not yet. Where is your guy's item shop? Is it this? Snow White? I'm buying stuff from Snow White? Holy cow, increases max HP by 30%? That seems incredibly useful. And I actually have enough money to buy it. But I'll wait for it. What's my opinion on the best storyline in the Final Fantasy series or any RPG? Final Fantasy VII is my favorite plot in a video game. I just think there's so much to uncover and so much to unravel, and it's told in such a beautiful way. I think it's the best plot I've ever experienced. But past that, I'm probably pretty biased to that as well, so. But uh, past that, this guy's afro is amazing. Um, Legend of Lagaya is a very unknown RPG with an incredible story and a very surprising story that I think is, is great. Um, Legend of Dragoon had a pretty good story. Um, Nine story I liked, but it's been a while since I played all the way through it, so I, I probably need to play it again. Um, Final Fantasy VI I have not played, but I know has one of the best, if not the best, story in the series. Um, what else? What other RPGs have great stories? Nino Kuni. Nino Kuni story. That's the one. Psh, you ain't got nothing I even want. All this is garbage. Actually, I'll take that. And then. Thanks, bub. Hey, don't call me bub, dude. How dare you call me bub? Only my mom calls me bub. You bought Nino Kuni? Nino Kuni 1 or 2? I'm guessing 1. Two is great, but one is the one that I feel like is a must-play. Like, you have to experience that game if you haven't. If you're a fan of the PS3 and you haven't played Nino Kuni, you need to play it. Oh, you've already played one. Yeah, I, I two is also really great, and I haven't played enough of it to even make that decision, but to me it's already really good. I don't know where the item shop is here. I, I'm starting to think it doesn't exist. See you, Blackheart. Have a good night, dude. Parasite Eve we could do at some point. There's just so many games we need to play, you know. Like, I am a person who everybody says is a Final Fantasy god and an RP PS1 RPG person and yet I have not played well these aren't PS1 RPGs uh, an RPG person I'm, I'm someone who's known for playing and knowing a lot about a lot of RPGs and yet I have not played Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy 6 which are the two greatest RPGs ever created in the eyes of everybody so I feel like those two have to be played soon. 
because it's like how long can I can I not play those two games but you know past that there's just so many I mean it's hard to choose so many games that everyone's like this is the greatest game ever and you need to play it and it's like but uh, there's so many other ones too what does this guy say south of this city thanks man I knew somebody here would just like tell me straight up where it was now, if only I could find the freaking item shop. Does it, this guy doesn't sell items, right? He's looking for the gloves. This play, and, and this guy said to go to the accessory shop, and I don't see that either. What are all these shops that people are talking about? This guy sells... Uh, this stuff. I, mean, I should just buy one of everything here. Dang it. Purchase. Uh, I own... I own uh, both Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger because I own all the PS1 ports. I do not own the SNES version of either of them, though. And people say... I'm pretty sure people say that the, the PS1 port of Final Fantasy 6 is good, but I've heard that the PS1 port of Chrono Trigger is not good. So... I don't know. I'm waiting until I actually choose to play them to then decide what version I'm going to play. But I own all those PS1 Final Fantasy games, you know? the All the PS1... Uh, I think I have them sitting here somewhere. Maybe not. I have uh, Anthology sitting right there, but I don't have the other one sitting here. But I own all those PS1 ports, so... Uh, I do own them all, but I don't know if I own the best port of them. Like I said, I've heard that 6 is okay to play on PS1, but I've heard Chrono Trigger's PS1 port isn't the best, so whenever we do play that, I might purchase the SNES version. Yeah, Origins, Chronicles, and Anthology are the names. Origins is Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Chronicles is 3 and... Five, 4... Chronicles is 4 and 5. And Anthology is... No. Chronicles is 4 and Chrono Trigger. Anthology is 5 and 6, and then 3 doesn't have a PS1 port. It's only on the DS, I think. <laughs> I had to think about it. I haven't looked at them in a while. Let me down there. This is kind of interesting. We went straight from one temple to another temple. Back when the game started, it was always like we had to do a bunch of stuff before getting to the next temple, but now we're just like flying from temple to temple, getting them summons like it's easy. Seriously, a penguin? I'm fighting penguins? Oh my god, he's into some giant snowball! What the heck was that? Yes, that's still my P.O. box. See ya, Jell. Thanks for hanging out for so long, my man. Appreciate it a lot. 
I kind of wish that one of those, like, Tails experts that always show up on my Let's Play days and are like, you're doing everything wrong. I wish they were here today. <laughs> so they could tell me what the heck this X skill does. But then part of me also feels like I enjoy when they aren't here and I can just experience everything for myself. But I really want to know if I just like wasted this X gem level 4, because to me it's not doing anything. <laughs> Jimbo sending me the, the Chrono Trigger SNES cartridge, dude. Thank you, man. That's awesome, dude. I will I will keep it in a very safe location until we finally play Chrono Trigger. Whoa, the ring suddenly got cold. I bet you can use the ring's cold power to freeze anything. Okay, let, then let's test it on you. Lloyd, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Whoa. So many of the noises in this game are way too loud. I don't know what they did with the, the volume in this game, but they really blew it. Hey look, it's Titus's sword. What? It's the Brotherhood. Man, I am just finding stuff for everybody. Uh, who equips a gauntlet though? It looks like it might be resistant to ice. What is it though? It does not help me. Oh, here we go. I can't hit this thing. Aha! Get frozen. Push this thing all the way down there? For real? Can I push it over here? Question mark? <laughs> Question mark? Uh, Krixie's here all the time. You just happen to be here when she isn't. God dang it. I gotta go all the way around and pull it. Pull it. What do you mean I can't move it backwards? You're telling me I can't grip it because it's ice or something? Oh my god. What is happening? Can I not? Oh, you're kidding. There's a ramp there? It's cartridge only because box and instruction manual is super no prices. I believe you on that. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Is that really what I'm supposed to do? It's just... I figured I was supposed to go down here and push it into here. Oh wait, there's one right here. Firmly grasp it. Well, thank you, man. I'm excited to get that. I don't know when we'll finally... I feel like the next time we do a Let's Play, Chrono Trigger might win the vote. I don't know when we're doing a Let's Play, because people might vote to do Final Fantasy VII again. But... Uh... The next time we decide to do a Let's Play, I feel like Chrono Trigger is going to win, because it almost won last time. What would happen if I did this? Oh, yeah. What? 
It's no good, it won't freeze. The water flow is too strong. We'll have to think of another way. Now that I think about it, there was someone in Flanor who said that the Celsius tear can freeze anything. Oh yeah, he did say that. Right. Then let's look for Celsius's tear. You remember he said it's in the ice caves, right? Of course I remember that. Right, and these are the ice caves. Did you know that if you touch a Celsius tear, you'll be poisoned? Of course I knew that. It's not poison, it burns you, remember? That's why you need the penguinist gloves, so you don't get burned. First you need to get those penguinist gloves. Wow, really? You threw me a trick question? You want to not be a royal doo-doo head? Whoa! Okay, didn't expect this fight. Just giant ice dogs. Giant ice dogs. The biggest of ice dogs that I have ever seen. Whoa! New spell, I like it. Oh my god, that did so much healing. I thought Nurse was good. Down your weakness. You picked the wrong guy to mess with. Well, yeah, that's what I. Yeah, Chrono Trigger will be on YouTube because it would be one of our Let's Plays. So, yeah, it would be on YouTube. So, how do I get these gloves? Do I just fight penguins? Or is there more to it? You're in the world of ow, 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 ow. Why do these look like people that are in penguin suits and not actual- Oh god, they are! They're people in penguin suits! Wait! I'm just murdering people. I don't- This is not okay. Wait. Wait! This is something strange. <laughs> I did just realize that. Expecting me to be live. Been on a Final Fantasy 7 binge on your channel? Yep. We do Final Fantasy 7 Friday mornings, and Friday, Friday afternoons we do Tales, so he caught us right when we're doing Tales. I'm glad you're enjoying the Final Fantasy 7 stuff. So, where am I supposed to get these gloves? Defensor? We also stream uh, every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. But Fridays are Final Fantasy days. Friday mornings. You can see the whole schedule down below. The heck is a defensor? Oh, those look like gun blades. What? Look at those. They look like they kind of look like gun blades. And holy cow, they're strong and have more defense. These are insane. Yes, please. Reinforcements. Well, if you're into speed runs, uh, I do a lot of speed runs as well. Mostly on Mondays and Tuesdays. We're currently working on Evil Land 2, and I'm really, really excited about that speedrun. It's a ton of fun, and it's a, a looking like around a six-hour speedrun. So it's, it's a lot of a lot of running. It's really cool. I also speedrun 3064. Used to speedrun Final Fantasy 7. Um, and. Uh, Speedrun Dishonored. 
and I speedrun Celeste as well. Whoa! <laughs> Somehow I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> he looks so goofy, what is he doing? <laughs> Why does he slip across the ice like that? It looks so ridiculous. I wonder if... I wonder if I can burn those twigs if I use this thing. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure where else it wants me to go. It says that the penguinist gloves are located somewhere. And they say, they said that the thing that, the tear is here somewhere too, but I don't see either one. How do you follow on the Twitch app? Uh, can you just click the screen and there should be a button up top that says like follow or something. I know there's a- oh yeah, just hit the heart. Yeah. That's probably why it's confusing, because it's a heart. I knew it was somewhere on the screen when you clicked it. Tiny Angel? What? First of all, put her back in the party. Can you cook, Regal? Yes, we've talked about this before. Humph, don't underestimate me. How about you decide whether I can or can't after you taste it? Hey, this is pretty good. Of course. But knowing you, you probably make it with your feet, huh? Of course. What? <laughs> that was a joke. Doesn't sound like a joke when you say it. Yo, Auntie! Thank you so much for joining the crew. Dropped on with that gifted sub. Welcome to the crew, my man. Enjoy your foam finger emotes and that beautiful green materia badge. Here we go. This is where I've been missing. Welcome to the crew, my dude. Glad you've enjoyed the content up to this point. I'm glad you're here. Welcome back, Arco. Did you know that I'm murdering people in penguin suits? Were you aware? Is that why you came back? You were like, wait, Death's murdering people in penguin suits? Let me see. I'm, I'm down for some penguin murder. Like, for real, why is this an enemy? Are they not gonna ever explain it? <laughs> it's. Are we gonna go through this whole thing and like no one's ever gonna explain why there's people walking around in penguin suits and we're just like murdering them? I almost kind of hope it's never explained just so it's just that ridiculous. Okay. So obviously if I slip down that thing I go back down to the beginning. We can do it. I'm killing all the club penguin characters. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. Taking revenge on all those guys. Every all the band uh, Club Penguin members come here. This is the place of band Club Penguin members. They're just trying to sell ice cream sandwiches, you monster. Oh my God! All right, let's never do that again. Who just, who just did all that damage? This thing? Or the flying thing? Can you, uh, throw something a little stronger than Fireball Genus, please? That would be great. Ow. 
just as I expected. Crap, I don't have anything to revive them with. Alright, you know what? We've gone on long enough without life bottles. Whee! I, lo <laughs> I love how he's just completely stiff the whole time. Oh lloyd. Alright, we need to go get some life bottles from somewhere. I don't care where, just somewhere. Where those at, I guess. Where that town bio's at. This town. See you, Trap Don. Have a good rest of your day at work, my man. Do you sell stuff? Oh, good timing, Sheena. I want a favor. I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? When I was stocking up the store, I accidentally dropped something important in the well. Can you go get it for me? Mm, sure, no problem. Oh, brother, okay. Really? Thank you. Somebody finally has freaking stuff I need. I do not even care how many I'm buying. It's worth it. Sure, kid. Water spider. <laughs> Why is that the name of shoes? Water spider. And then is there an inn here somewhere? Can I sleep in here or something? Can I use your house for slumber? No. Wanted to ask you for a while, do you or have you played RuneScape? I have not. It's kind of funny you asked me that, because I literally had this discussion the other day with my cousin. I wonder what he dropped in this well. Hmm, yeah, there's something floating. It looks like a book. A count book. I can't believe he dropped something like this. Let's go give it back to him. Ah, uh, thank you. I can't work without it. That was stupid, dropping your account book. Aha! Uh -huh, its appearance is an account book is only a disguise to fool the public. This is actually my prized notebook of secrets. Secrets? My secrets will astound you. Even my secretary loves them. Ha <laughs> ha! Where's Blackwing when you need him? Blackheart when you need him. Oh, brother. What, Sheena? Do notate me because I'm beautiful. Not bad, but perhaps that book should contain something a little more novel. Ha! <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean... Hey, not bad. I'll give you the secret notebook I was using before. Ah, uh, no, I... Go on, take it. If you want to hear my secrets, come back anytime. Are you serious? Black Heartwing leaves right when we meet the pun character. Okay, like, maybe he left so he could, like... Set up shop. Maybe that's what happened. So yeah, my, I actually had this discussion with my cousin the other day because RuneScape was pretty popular when I was younger. Like I, I was, I was just getting into computers like a lot right when RuneScape was popular. So like, it's actually kind of surprising that I haven't played it. I don't know where the inn is there, so I'm gonna go to here because maybe I can find the inn. Um, but as I've said before, I've never been a big fan of MMOs, and RuneScape is like the most stereotypical MMO of all time. Like, it is the MMO. <laughs> oh, I went the wrong way. So, you know, it's probably not that shocking that I haven't played it. Oh, wait, this is... Can you not get to the other side of that from here? I thought you could.
Uh, Jimbo's still here, but he went to grab food. What's up, Crixie? Jimbo was looking for you earlier. This is the armor shop. But, um, yeah, so I've never been into MMOs. So I was never into RuneScape. And I never really had any friends that played RuneScape either, to be honest. So I never really didn't know about it till it was already old news. But after I tried some other MMOs and didn't like them, I was like, okay, MMOs aren't for me. And then I realized that RuneScape was a super popular one, but at that point I was like, eh, I don't like MMOs. And this one is like super, like, I mean, it's the stereotypical MMO. It's like grinding, it's like fetch quests. I mean, it's everything MMO-ish. That's what RuneScape is, so. Yeah, it's probably not my cup of tea. Maybe one day I'll try it, but I would almost guarantee I wouldn't like it. How do I leave again? No. This is a cool town. I love how, like, the paths all intertwine and stuff. Well, World of Warcraft has pretty much always been the number one MMO, but... Rune RuneScape was pretty high up there, too, honestly. I mean, it was... It was definitely popular. Yo, wow, Luigi, with that beautiful Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the crew! Enjoy your figure emotes in that beautiful green materia badge. And don't forget... When your wah is out of line, come on down to the wah for him. Luigi jokes. What? Where has he been this whole time? Wait, what? Hmm, what are you doing, Brisea? Paw pad. May I try to? Yes. What is going on? What am I watching? Please make it stop. Paw Dandy. Wow. How... How exciting. Uh, uh, uh. 